All right, so we are using the big pig to glaze this ham. Now we're doing it at Christmas time, but this is actually an awesome thing to do any time of the year, provided you can get yourself a nice smoked leg ham. Now, this ham has already been uh, brined, it's already been smoked, so that means it's actually ready to eat right now. So we're just warming it up today, making it nice for when we go to carve it at a nice serving temperature and getting a glaze on there to finish it off and really, really give you something that tastes magical and just like Christmas, really. So anyway, let's get into it. All right, so we're preheating some iron bark splits here. We've got these from Natural Smoke. They're providing our fuel source and our nice smoky flavor today. And we're aiming for about 180 degrees Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit in the oven for doing this ham. So we want to make this ham an absolute showpiece today. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to cut the skin along here. And as you can see that there's no skin actually on this uh, meat side, on this leg side, but we're going to make an incision all the way around the bone and then start to peel away the skin. And that's going to expose that nice fat underneath, which we're going to score. And then we're going to mark with some cloves. Now when you're scoring this, when you're cutting into this skin, you don't really want to cut too deep. Try and get a nice sharp knife. Uh, we don't want to go too far into the fat and we're just going to leave a little collar basically on the top here um, and that's going to stay on there once again just for presentation purposes really. Alright so we've actually made a small cut here away from the presentation side and we're just going to start taking this um, skin off. So we want to try and just take the skin and sort of leave as much of the fat on there as possible. So as we're taking the skin off it's a good idea to run your finger between the skin and the fat because we only really want to be removing the skin. We want to leave as much of that nice fat layer there as possible. We're going to finish this off and then we're going to start scoring it. Okay, so now the key for presentation is we're going to make some score marks in the ham. Now, use a nice sharp knife and we're just going to make a bit of a diamond pattern across the fat here. And if you can't see that very well, you'll start to see the shape and the pattern that I'm talking about when we start to smoke this. Now, we're going to go all the way across one way and then we're going to start going back the other way. All right, now for the cloves. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna put a clove in the center of each one of those little diamonds that we've made. This can take a little while, but the good thing about doing this is it actually helps uh, keep that fat on there nicely as it cooks. So I'm gonna keep doing this and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right guys, and there's our finished cloves pattern. So we've got one clove in each square, and I think taking the time to do this well actually just makes it look so good, especially when it's finished and all glazed up. So anyway, let's get it out to the oven. Okay, so we've got our ham ready, and smoker oven is at the perfect temperature. So let's get it in. I've just made a little bit of a foil catch tray just for some of that excess glaze so it doesn't drip down into the bottom of the smoker and catch on fire. Alright, so the glaze for our ham today is super delicious and super simple. We've got half a cup of apricot jam, quarter of a cup of apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of kekat manis, and two tablespoons of whole grain mustard. Mix all this together in a little pot while our ham is starting to warm up and it'll be ready to go when we need a glaze. Alright, so it's been about an hour and a half. Got our glaze here ready to go. And let's just have a little look at this ham. And the color on that and the flavor is just looking sensational. Really happy with that. 
It's nearly hit 100 Fahrenheit, so we're going to start glazing it in a minute. Alright guys, so it's already looking absolutely amazing and we haven't even put the glaze on yet. So when we're applying the glaze, it's just as simple as brushing this over the cooked area and just letting the glaze work its way down through all those crooks and crevices. And we just want to get a nice even coverage over the layer of that fat. Okay, that's our first coat of the glaze done. She's gonna go back in the oven and we're gonna do a couple more in the oven. So it's been about 15 minutes and we are back. And that's just after our first glaze. So we're gonna put this next couple of glazes on in the smoker itself and then finish it off when it gets to about 125 internal. So about an hour and four coats of glaze and here we go. <laughs> uh, oh, that looks good. Looks really good. Okay, well, we're going to be eating this for the next week. And I'm not even mad about it. it looks amazing. Alright guys, <laughs> time for a slice. This looks unbelievable. This first slice is going to have a fair bit of that glaze on it. Let's just go in another little slice. And have a look at that ham. Oh, check that out. It, re <laughs> it really doesn't get any better than that, guys. The, um, the glaze really complements the flavour of the ham. It's sweet, but it's a little bit salty. It's got that lovely apricot flavour through it. And then the extra smoke from being in the uh, big pig smoke oven. So really hope you like this recipe. Um, I'm going to make myself a little ham sandwich. 